Violence in Amsterdam left at least five people injured and dozens have been arrested. But what happened? Supporters of Israeli football club Maccabi Tel Aviv arrived in Amsterdam ahead of their UEFA Europa League match against Amsterdam club Ajax. On Wednesday, social media videos verified by Sky News show Maccabi Tel Aviv fans tearing down Palestinian flags from outside of homes. Other social media videos appear to show residents chasing Maccabee oh. Tel Aviv fans. Come on, come on. on Thursday, just before the game, crowds of Maccabee fans were filmed singing racist and anti-Arab songs. While a pro-Palestinian demonstration had been banned by the mayor over fears there would be clashes. Later that evening during the match, Israeli supporters appeared to disrupt the minute silence for Valencia flood victims with chants, whistles and fireworks. Maccabi fans were seen attacking locals as a police car can be seen driving by. People with Palestinian flags were seen marching on the streets. Maccabi supporters say they were beaten and attacked on the streets of the Dutch capital with videos showing some of the violence. Safely Palestine and we go. Good. Sky News could not independently verify all of the footage shown. Police arrested 62 people. Five were taken to hospital, but have since been discharged. Israeli far-right ultras are notorious for their racism and physical violence. Dutch, Israeli and British leaders denounced the attacks as anti-Semitic and even referred to it as a pogrom. But their statements failed to mention the assaults by the Israeli hooligans against Dutch citizens.